Today we are going to talk about which type of cardio you should be doing to help you lose fat more efficiently. Let's be clear, in general any movement is better than no movement, but that doesn't mean that all forms of exercise are equal. So for the purposes of this discussion, we are going to talk about two main forms of cardio. Low intensity steady state or LISS, example, long distance running and high intensity interval training, HIIT, example, sprint training. When we talk about body composition, we are actually talking about two processes that we can control which are decreasing body fat and increasing muscle mass. While it can be argued that both forms of cardio burn a similar amount of calories on average, the production of anabolic hormones present during the heat training is notable. A recent 2021 study looked at the effect of strength training combined with heat in subjects over an eight-week period and noted that when compared with control groups, the subject's testosterone levels had increased while their long-term cortisol levels had noticeably decreased. While it is true that heat will actually produce more cortisol than lease, this is mainly due to how much more intense and demanding the session is. But when we look at the long-term effects based on the studies, we can see that when used correctly, heat reduces long-term cortisol levels and increases androgenic hormones such as testosterone, HGH, and BDNFs, which are all anabolic hormones important for growth and repair. This change in hormone balance will create a much better environment to increase muscle mass while burning more fat. One last thing to mention about a catabolic state and why we don't want to be in it, especially over the long time. Cortisol, a catabolic hormone, take over the task of breaking down tissues and cells for fuel. A study on extended exposure to cortisol and its effect on our brains has shown even brain shrinkage and inhibition of neurogenesis, which is the birth of new brain cells. Heat also has the aided benefit of burning more calories after your training session has finished. Studies show that a single heat session can have you burning calories up to 72 hours after you finish your training, which can have a huge impact on your overall calorie expenditure. So if you would like to see fast and lasting improvement in body composition, consider incorporating one or two high intensity interval training sessions per week alongside your regular strength training. For a more detailed guide, check out this video. It features some interesting and easy to implement workout sessions to help you achieve optimal results. If you like this content, then we have plenty more on our channel. So please like and subscribe to see more of our content in the future. Thank you for watching.